Hey everybody, welcome back to another Behind the Curtains episode. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Today, we're gonna look at Control from Daryl Vandenberg and Murphy's Magic. All right, so what is Control? What is this all about? Uh, the control project is a box, it's a hard shelled box, inside of it you are going to receive everything you need to manipulate objects with your mind and not even just one type of object either, like we're talking multiple things, anything from cigarettes to pens to pencils to bottle caps to rocks to guitar picks, you name it. Just using your force of will, you will have a complete arsenal of routines, ideas, and gimmicks to propel your magic and stun your spectators. All right, so what do you get? What do you get? Of course, you get the download code. Download code's gonna take you out to the web and give you two hours and nine minutes of instruction. Two hours and nine minutes of instruction with multiple teachers, okay? Got Chris Oberly, Greg Wilson, a whole slew of people down at Murphy's Magic, all giving you their tips, advice, and tricks to move objects with your mind. So what's inside the hard shelled box? What is the control gimmick? Can't tell you, that would be exposure. <laughs> that would be exposure. Um, but it's gonna be similar to other devices that you've received to either move objects, to propel objects, or to make objects vanish, okay? Similar to that, um, you're gonna get a control gimmick, okay? And then you're gonna get multiple smaller gimmicks that you'll be able to use to rig uh, everyday household items like pens and pencils and cigarettes and bottle caps and yeah. All right, so the video that you get to watch, uh, it's everything you'd expect from Murphy's Magic. Murphy's Magic makes great videos. It's all shot uh, in the Murphy's Magic studio. Uh, like I said, Chris Oberly is one of your strongest teachers. Greg Wilson, you got that as well. Three of the effects will actually have live out on the street presentations. So, so three of the nine tricks will actually have a live uh, version, so they don't all have live versions, uh, just, just three of the effects. In fact, some of the footage that you even see in the commercial aren't really in the instructions either. So let me just tell you what you're gonna get as far as the teaching goes. What tricks are you gonna learn? Um, you're gonna learn a chop cup routine with Greg Wilson. You're gonna learn uh, a trick that Greg Wilson calls Aquaman, where he makes a, a bottle of water wobble on the table, okay? Uh, you're gonna learn a shell routine uh, you see that one in the, in the commercial with a crumpled up dollar bill and a coffee cup. That one is great. Um, Titanus is going to teach you an animated cigarette effect. Chris Oberly is going to teach you the moving rock effect. And then there's a second one, that's spinning rock that you see in the commercial. You're going to learn that one as well. You're going to learn a static straw effect where the straw actually leaps off the table and attaches itself to your hand. Uh, you're going to learn the haunted deck routine that you see in the commercial. There was a live uh, video for that as well. There's two different PK pens that you'll also learn. So you'll learn a PK pen where the pen spins on top of a water bottle. And then you're gonna learn uh, one where the pen spins inside of a cup. And uh, I did appreciate all the different types of uh, tricks that you could do with this. So it wasn't just like the same thing over and over again. It wasn't like nine tricks and they're all a card animation or nine tricks and you're all just moving a pen across the table. So there was all kinds of things that you could do. I would argue that I wouldn't do two or three of these tricks all in the same routine. Obviously you'd space all these out. You wouldn't carry multiples of these with you. You'd carry one with you, right? You'd do one trick out of all these nine, or you'd have the ability to come up with your own tricks, okay? So don't think that you're just gonna walk around and make objects move as your whole routine. I would, I would say that many of these need to be presented in the framework of a routine or in the framework of a, a, a trick with patter, okay? You're not really getting full tricks with all of these ideas. Many of them are ideas that just simply need to be fleshed out by you. And of course, I think after watching the two hours and nine minutes of this instruction, you're gonna come up with your own ideas or you're gonna find ways to incorporate these effects into effects that you already do or own. And then everything else on the video is going to be how to care for your products, how to make sure that you're storing them correctly and caring for them, and then also fitting the control gimmick to you. Now, obviously, PK devices have been around for a while. Um, there's all kinds of uh, utilities that are very similar to this. Off the top of my head, I think of the Raven or the Bat, things like that. Um, and and the, all those things are designed to remain hidden 
right? They're, they're never inspectable. The spectator never sees them. They're all designed to vanish so that uh, you can show your hands clean and empty or your body clean and empty. Um, I will say that in the control gimmick, there's, there's really nothing for the spectator to find. So there shouldn't be anything that uh, they would hold out and say, well, what's this, right? So there's none of that. So, and there's no threads for them to find. There's, no, there's nothing that'll break, uh, that'll dislodge uh, or make your props fall to the ground and you lose your power all of a sudden. Um, and I was very impressed with the quality of products of what you're getting. I really did like the quality of the control gimmick, had not really seen anything much like it before, all right? All in all, I say you can't go wrong with Murphy's Magic, you can't go wrong with Chris Oberlin, you can't go wrong with Greg Wilson. So much uh, great stuff in there. Dave Grippenwalt's in there as well. I mean, he's awesome. So, uh, you know, you're getting a great product. It's wonderfully priced, wonderfully priced for what you're getting. Um, I think if you don't have any PK stuff, or if you've always wanted to get into PK, or maybe you've tried like things like loops, or you've tried IT and that hasn't worked for you, and you're like, oh, I wish there was something else out there. There is and it's control. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about control from Daryl Vandenberg and Murphy's Magic. Of course, if you have any questions about this Magic product or anything else they sell at Merchant of Magic, please don't hesitate to send us an email and we want to hear from you. And you can send those emails to support at magicshop.co.uk and check out our blog for tips and even more great advice at blog.magicshop.co.uk. Thanks, bye.